Welcome, Grounded Survivors. Today I thought it would be interesting to cover making our trek from the beginning of the game and head directly toward a confrontation with our termite friends. I also added an exploit at the end that allows us to skip a decent section of the wood pile to gain access to the burgle chip as early as possible. Let's dig into this. Our primary focus early on is going to start our journey by making our way generally toward the very ascension point. Uh, however, there's going to be a few things that we do want to make sure to pick up along the way. Uh, first of all, we want to make sure that we have a lot of snacks, uh, decent mushrooms all over the place here that you can pick up. Uh, but more important than that, we need to make sure that we have a weapon to actually fight with. It's kind of hard to block things if you don't have a weapon. So the easiest weapon that we can find uh, yes, to just buddy. simply pick up is going to be the corpse be blade or the larva blade gonna be famous, that can be found <laughs> just on the other side of the oh, downed oak branch that's on the southern part of the map. As you'll see, it's right up here beyond this container in what we would call the sprig forest. If you ever need sprigs for any project or anything you're building, if you make your way here, you'll have plenty. So we have our first blade, and we're going to start making our way towards our next weapon. Uh, many of you already know where the second weapon is going to be. We're headed for our ant club, or the rotten ant club. Hey, buddy. Clock's now. When I originally came up with the idea, I was not sure if it was even possible for us to make it to the termites uh, or the woodpile without having a bomb or ever unlocking Burkle at the Oak Lab. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is how we can actually do this from day one. Uh, now here comes the tricky part. Uh, I wanted to also know if it's possible to obtain the termite axe in the beginning of the game. Keep in mind that this route is not for players just starting out. It's very difficult to fight these termites with no armor and only an ant club to defend yourself with. One additional note I would add here with this route, and it's not included in this video, I would suggest if you're not familiar with perfect blocking that you navigate to get yourself some armor, perhaps make a stone hammer and go pick up some acorn gear. That way you'd have a better chance of surviving. On the other side here, we're going to find our ant club that we've been looking for. However, we do have to navigate beyond these spiders, so do be very careful coming through here. Little baby ones usually will dip through here, so just keep an eye out while you're trying to make your way to this back wall back here. And here we're going to find our ant club that we've been talking about. So now we actually have a weapon that is effective enough to fight these termites with. Now there are some more mushrooms down to the right over here by the birdbath. If you didn't manage to pick up a few of them, or at least you don't feel like you have enough, uh, if you'll take a cut right over here instead of letting spiders come after you. We have plenty of mushrooms that we can pick up here. I'm going to speed some of this up for you here in a minute. Uh, do make sure that you stop and grab some sap. Uh, you're going to need that actually when you use it to analyze, it'll unlock your crafting table without needing a blade of grass. So we're going to make our way back toward the ascension point. 
so we can begin our journey here. So our primary objective is actually going to be to navigate as far as we can through this hedge here. Uh, do make sure we stop and grab the granola bars that are in here. It is your only source of healing that you're going to have when you actually get to the termites. You're going to have three total that are in this uh, analyzer lab here. But we're going to make our way over toward the actual lab entrance, but we will not enter the lab via that zip line. So we're going to kind of work our way over here. Grab some juice. Oh, yeah! and we're going to stop and make sure to grab this dandelion tuft. Just in case we fall. And there's going to be three dandelion tufts. So if you do not grab the first one, you can grab the second one. In here we have two more granola bars. And you also have some water if you miss that juice drop. Grab the second dandelion tuft on your way across these mushrooms. Take the zip line. And work our way across the flying disc man. Grab our scab. And be careful here, it's pretty easy to fall. Take this zip line. And be quick in this building because there's fiber bandages right here. Grab them and go. This is the third dandelion tuft. So if you do not grab any of them, make sure you grab that one. Otherwise, you're going to have fun in a minute. So we're going to navigate up to this final zip line. Except this time, drop when you get to the top here. We're going to make our way toward the recipe for the broodmother. So we just drop here. Climb on top of this branch. And we make our way outside. Now normally when you would take this, you would actually make a left here to get the broodmother recipe, but we're going to follow our way down the edge of the branch here, jump to this leaf here, and we're ultimately trying to get on top of two branches here. This will be the first one, and here's our second one. Now you're going to need to crouch and creep your way to the edge of this leaf here. And we got two more jumps. And we're here. Now it's actually possible to use your dandelion tuft and float all the way to the edge of this rock facing here. And at first I didn't know if we would be able to move fast enough or if the durability would hold out. But if you climb high enough you can make it. Good job, Max. Oh, yeah! I'm going to make a pit stop here to grab a few more mushrooms and any fibers we can. If you missed any, you can grab a couple more here. One of the other things we do want to make sure that we grab, as well as craft, is our stone axe. We need to craft that so we can chop these clovers here down. We want to make sure to have those for the lean-to once we get to the wood pile. And here is a good spot to actually stop, pick up a few rocks, and some sprigs. Make sure you have a few sprigs. And we're going to craft... No... Craft our hammer and another rock. And we got our axe. We 
we went ahead and made a hammer there uh, because you have sap clusters that are in the wood pile and if you want to make bandages you're going to need to be able to break these clusters up so that it helps to be able to heal yourself while you're over there up ahead it's going to be quite a bit of a journey because the process takes us all the way around this rock wall so I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for all of our sake because this is quite a bit of a little journey to make. We are going to stop on the other side uh, once we actually get past this undeveloped area here and we're going to dip into the grass because it is the best place to cut through and look for any additional water. Uh, water is kind of hard to come by in the wood pile so if you can stock up when you first get there you are that much better off. Let's see if I can find one in the blades here. There's got to be one in here somewhere. Uh, let's see, I think I see one. There we go, yeah. As you can see, it's, it's no just open, crying, but no bugs, nothing. nothing but grass. We're going to work our way on the upper part here. And since we filled our water up, we are going to need to fill some of our food up. So let's stop and make a snack break. I'm not picky. And take some to go. Let's say hello to the uh, roly poly here. And if you want, you can try to no armor ant club challenge that guy. Uh, feel free to comment below if you manage to, to do that one. Give me a video to check out. Now this right here is more of the safest route to just scale on top of these open rocks. Stay away from these ladybird, uh, ladybugs. Those things are rather vicious. Now we can just hop across here. And we're going to navigate ourselves on top of this wood here to make it to the actual research station. Now as we get up there, we'll go ahead and create a lean-to so we can have a safe spawn point. And that's safe in any difficulty that you try this. But as you can see, we are here. We have made it. It is still day one. We have arrived at our research station. sprigs there's plenty of sprigs down here uh, plant fibers are scattered about be careful which ones you you actually look at because some of them are on the ground are actually dry grass instead of actual fibers so once we grab these we're gonna take them up top We will go ahead and craft our crafting table, as well as our lean-to. We'll go ahead and drop our lean-to. Set our respawn. And we'll put our crafting table together. And that should allow us to do everything that we need to do here.
So we need to fill up on our stamina and our f with our food here. We want to make sure we're at max food, so we don't run into any problems while we're fighting. Let's go see if we can get the attention of one here. It's got to be one right on this back side. There we go. There you are. Let's dance. Now I like this area back here. If you can pull one away from the front, you can keep him kind of isolated over here without a bunch of friends joining in. And it does require a lot of blocking to take these things out with no armor. I wanted to give this a shot because it seemed challenging. And I was right. I'd imagine this process is easier if you manage to spend the time to get your parry master first instead of doing this without it. But as you can see, this is definitely doable. But it is not easy. If you guys want to comment below for anyone who's trying this challenge as well, uh, feel free, let me know how you did. Uh, I would like to add the ox beetle into it. Um, Although the most I've done there is is half of the ox beetle, and then it kind of got bugs, so it wasn't really like a full fight. So close, but at least we know that it is definitely doable, and that was the purpose here. So we're going to skip ahead, and I'm going to show you guys one more thing that I think is really interesting, but it will more than likely be patched out and fixed later on. So what I'm going to show you guys here is a way to skip the wood pile and create a shortcut to go directly to the termite king uh, as well as the burgle chip so once we have made our termite axe termite axe um, that is the one thing we are going to need so we're gonna work our way to this back corner here and we're going to navigate to the top of this log now some of you may be aware of this, uh, and it may have been this way for a while, but I've discovered it recently, and I think it's a great shortcut if you're trying to just get to your Termite King kill quickly, or if you want to get the Burgle chip earlier than any other chip in the game. 
So you want to make your way up to the top here and you're trying to get yourself into this little nook here. It seems to help if you jump and crouch while you're in the air and you'll land. Now you'll see that we have fallen through the actual map terrain. Uh, I have gone down further than this here and you can explore a little bit if you wish to try this out on your own. Uh, there's not a whole lot you can, you can do. But right here you'll notice we have the sawdust um, scab here and it looks like we have a little passage we can walk through well we can but it is one way so what we do from here is we're just gonna run quickly up to the top of this passage run past any termites make an immediate right and then make an immediate left now with your termite axe in hand go ahead and hit one of these splinters real quick and now you just want to follow the tunnel down and you're gonna run right into your king termite now run past him if you're looking for a quick burgle chip snag the chip and run now I thought this was a real quick shortcut uh, for any reason that you want to do speed runs on this guy or if you want to work on your termite armor easier than having to navigate on top of the wood pile because as you'll see in a minute that area up there can be very dangerous uh, the mosquitoes particularly I'm sure everyone hates but you have several wolf spiders that patrol around the top of this this tunnel we're coming up here is the entrance you would normally take to get into this part of the termite quote-unquote lab now the safest way to get out of here is to aim for that fence line and you will have wolf spiders that patrol right here so just keep an eye out depending on what time of day it is and make your way along the fence line so we can avoid any mosquitoes and that's it ladies and gentlemen you now have a termite axe and a burgle chip well at least the highest burgle chip we can get right now on day one hope you like it subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll catch you guys on the next episode